Asbestos is a fibrous mineral that's resistant to chemicals and heat, and very tough. It was also added to the building materials of many older homes. As a worker or homeowner, the hazard exists when undertaking a renovation or demolition. The danger is releasing the asbestos fibers into the air. When a worker breathes, asbestos fibers enter the mouth and nose and flow down the air passages deep into the lungs. The fibers lodge in the delicate lung tissue where oxygen is absorbed into the blood. Immune system cells try and break down the asbestos fibers and become damaged and die. Scar tissue forms around the dead cells and spreads as more fibers embed in the lungs. Asbestos fibers can remain in the lungs for long periods and the scar tissue that results continues to develop for many years after exposure. Eventually, so much scar tissue develops that the lungs stop working. Since the year 2000, more workers have died from asbestos disease in BC than any other workplace injury. a couple of years back about the dust making some blokes crook. Any exposure to asbestos dust can cause fatal cancer. A disease which few have heard of, but which may haunt us for decades to come. We get the older men to do the more high-risk jobs. Based on the shocking true story that spans four decades. People are dying because of a product that James Hardy produced. Asbestos could bring this company down. It could bring us all down. <laughs> comes the incredible, lifelong battle. These people got sick on your watch, mate. For justice. Innocent people will start dying without compensation. That's catastrophic. Hardy, I'm gonna chase you! Devil's dust. None of us really know how long we've got. Today's decision is part of a complicated court case relating to a decision made by the Supreme Court last year and relating to events dating back to 2001. Now, last year, the New South Wales Supreme Court Justice Ian Gazelle found that the company James Hardy, some of its employees and some of its directors were guilty of breaching the Corporations Act and breaching their duty of care when they released a statement to the stock market that said that they were setting up a compensation kitty for victims of asbestos-related diseases and that that compensation fund was fully funded. It was later found out that the fund had a $1.8 billion black hole. Now, those, uh, there have been 10 defendants in uh, this case and today uh, the full bench of the Supreme Court of New South Wales has found that some of those defendants, seven non-executive directors of the company, have, uh, their appeal has been upheld and the reason for that, just Chief Justice Spiegelman gave the reason for that being that ASIC had failed to prove uh, that they had approved the decision to release that statement to the stock market and one of the reasons he gave for that was that the ASIC had failed to call a key witness. So those seven 
Uh, Non-executive directors have had their appeal upheld, um, but two, uh, one, ex one executive director and also a lawyer for the company, as well as the company itself, have not had their appeals fully upheld. And George, what's been the reaction amongst the victims of asbestos-related diseases to the ruling? Well, the widow of one of the foremost campaigners for victims of asbestos-related diseases, Bernie Banton, his widow earlier on spoke to the ABC outside court, and here's what she had to say.